So we out here at Marky Mark. Gonna pick up his motor. Or not. Yep. Or not. Why not? Yeah. We're going here first. Where? Keep my fucking oil tap, bro. Oh, that bullshit one? Hey, nah, keep your fucking uh, metal one. As I'm done, keep my metal one. I ain't giving it to Andrew. I'm keeping it. <laughs> That's like 30 bucks, bitch. I wait. Shut up. All that for this. Piece of shit, 30 bucks. Hey, okay, fuck I'm off. Take it off. Dude, this gets on there fucking tight. I don't take it off in a while. Hey, fuck you. <laughs> fuck all you. <laughs> all like 500 of you. Because I haven't. 1,300. Right now, it's 1,000 of y'all? Yeah. I think so. I know I'm on 1,000. I'm gonna fucking rag. <laughs> He's home. Hey, we get it, bitch. <laughs> so, motor's already loaded up. Just left marks. Didn't record because we're there talking. Grab some Chick-fil-A, but you can see it's right there laying down. So, let's see how this truck does. Pulling it. Not too bad. So far, I'm on the freeway hitting 70 already. Motors here at home. It's a little dark, but it's right here. We're gonna put it in right now and then drop it right now, real quick, since my neighbors are not here. Makes it easy access. motors already here sorry in my garage uh tomorrow i will put it in the engine stand right there wow uh, and then i'll start working on little things that i have to do on it and get ready to drop it in <laughs> So there it is, it's in on jack stand. Right now I am gonna remove anything that I don't need. Um, he ended up cutting a bunch of these plugs up. Like this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, uh, this one also. Um, so all this little stuff that Mark cut I'm gonna remove right now make it easier when the motors are already here that way I don't have to do it so yeah I'm gonna do that get on there kill some time right now off all the plugs except for this um, I'm not gonna do it because I'm I think it doesn't have oil but I'm not gonna remove it right now I'll remove it when I get the other motor out but this is all the stuff I took out that mark cut the compressor cuz I'm gonna leave it on the car so I don't have to charge it again so he cut these hoses all these plugs and all these hoses i hate these clamps that toyota made look how fucked up it is and when you squeeze it it doesn't really open it so prefer the other ones so good thing motor was already off for that one and then that's it i'll see you guys tomorrow or in a couple of seconds uh, tomorrow i'm gonna do the motor and 
take it out swap everything out hopefully i'm able to take it out the same day and put it in and get that car up and running another day another dollar <laughs> so car's already here it's parked outside it's that red one over there andrew's right here so we just gotta move the evil i already parked all the cars outside so just move the evil so we can get uh his car inside the garage and start taking out the motor off so let's get to it because i might get a ticket if i don't move yeah. it at 10 and it's 9 20 right now so Murphin, got the truck in. One more to bring in before I get a ticket. So all the cars are in. 9:42 with 18 minutes to spare. So we're gonna start taking this motor off and putting Mark's old motor has good compression. This one doesn't. So yeah, let's get started. We are gonna put uh, new mounts front and back, new clutch, new oil pump, and uh, the seal chain. for the gasket for the timing chain cover. So um, that's about it. Um, he is gonna need the gasket for the valve cover. So yeah, let's get started, get this done. remove the wire harness right here I'm working on the shipping cables he's wait, working on the slave cylinder right there that he forgot last time and then uh, grounds already disconnected some of the wire harness is already disconnected because we have to transfer it to the other one um, batteries out as you can see ECU also anything else so we gotta do the serpentine belt the alternator to get to the AC compressor because we don't want to recharge it later. And after that, we're lifting the car, lifting it up, taking out the headers and axles, and this motor should come out. Alternator was giving me a fucking headache right now because guess what? <laughs> I broke this shit. So, this right here was to hold it in place, this nut, and I broke it. So I gotta put another wrench here and do it, and there's not that much room. <laughs> motor's almost already out all i need is motor mounts and all the cooling lines cooling still in there transmission fluid already out axles already out that one's already out that one needs to get replaced um but uh we're gonna go get another oil pan for the coolant um he's gonna reuse it so 
we're gonna get a new one and he doesn't have transmission oil so we gotta go get that real quick um probably engine oil also because mark's motor doesn't have engine oil so probably have to pick that up and that's about it i'm probably gonna take off the power steering um and yeah because i don't want to leak power steering fluid so i'm just gonna take out the pump the whole pump either way the fucking uh serpentine bell is already out uh header bolts already disconnected so yeah this motor should come out in the next hour or so here at AutoZone, let's go get the oil. Got the oil, the oil pan. I got the engine oil at home, so. Dropping down the cooling right now and then finishing up the last touches so we could take it out. Um, what else? That's about it. So I gotta do the power steering right now and then motor mounts, hoses and coolant and motor should come out. already drained power steering is already disconnected just hanging there taking off the hoses already uh, taking out the reservoir right now so I got more room to play with and then I'm gonna remove these over here real quick and then all they need is motor mounts and motor should come out transfer the transmission on that header intake manifold wire harness um, on this one we are taking while we're here we are gonna replace the timing chain cover right now and I think we have to take off the pulley from that one and put it on this one um, and we're replacing the oil pump while we're doing the timing chain cover uh, so he's taking off the the valve cover you don't need to take those off bro no no So yeah, I gotta take out the valve cover on this, timing chain cover on this, and swap this one out. Anything else I'm missing? I think that's about it. So. Mm -hmm. 